biomes are large geographic regions on land defined by their average temperature, average rainfall, and dominant plant types. If the climate in two separate areas is similar, you can expect to find the same type of biome in both these regions. Let's survey the major terrestrial biomes, beginning near the equator and finishing close to the poles. Tropical rainforests occur near the equator and experience high rainfall, ranging from 200 to 400 centimeters of rain a year, and high average temperatures, ranging between 25 and 29 degrees Celsius. The layered structure of tropical rainforest provides many different habitats and therefore a rich diversity of species. For example, in a square kilometer of tropical rainforest in Central America, toucans, poison dart frogs, ant eaters, boas, and bullet ants may be found. Plants experience competition for sunlight because tall trees form a canopy or leafy covering that shades vegetation at lower levels. This results in few plants growing on the forest floor. Unfortunately, tropical rainforests are threatened by overharvesting and habitat destruction by humans. Tropical rainforest biomes include the Amazon rainforest in South America and the Congo Basin in Africa. Savannas are found generally near the tropics and their dry regions, receiving only 30 to 50 centimeters of rainfall a year. The savannas warm year-round, with average temperatures ranging between 25 and 29 degrees Celsius. Plants in the savanna are mostly grasses and shrubs, with some trees. Examples of animals that can be found in savannas include large mammals such as lions, zebras, giraffes and elephants. Fossil evidence suggests that the earliest humans originated in the African savanna. However, modern humans are overhunting the current large mammal inhabitants, such as the black rhino and the Indian elephant, which is a result a now endangered species. Deserts are the driest of all biomes, characterized by low rainfall averaging less than 30 centimeters a year. Although most people tend to think of deserts as being very hot, deserts can also be very cold. For example, temperatures can exceed 50 degrees Celsius in the Sahara Desert, or they can be as low as negative 80 degrees Celsius in Antarctica, which is considered a desert due to its low rainfall. Even in one desert, large temperature fluctuations can occur throughout the day. Plants found in deserts tend to be small and spread out with adaptations to dry conditions such as long tap roots or the ability to store water, such as is seen in cacti. Desert animals are also adapted to low water consumption. Many animals are nocturnal to avoid intense heat and sun exposure, such as badgers and scorpions. Large grasslands, known as prairies, are generally located about halfway between the equator and the poles. Rainfall is seasonal, averaging 30 to 100 centimeters a year, with dry winters and wet summers. Similarly, winters are cold with average temperatures of negative 10 degrees Celsius, and summers are hot, with 30 degrees Celsius being the average temperature. Very few trees grow in grasslands, but the grasses that grow in these regions build fertile soils, which can be converted into successful agricultural land. An example of a grassland is the North American prairie, once home to large numbers of bison. Once settlers moved into this region, the prairie was converted to agricultural land. Habitat loss caused by agriculture has endangered this biome as farmers push wildlife out of their natural habitat in order to grow crops or graze livestock. Like temperate grasslands, deciduous forests are also located about halfway between the equator and the poles, mostly in the northern hemisphere. They're characterized by moderate temperatures with warm summers averaging 25 degrees Celsius and cold winters averaging temperatures below zero degrees Celsius. Rainfall is moderate to high with 70 to 200 centimeters of rain distributed evenly around the year. The primary vegetation are deciduous trees, such as oaks and maples. 
many of the animals hibernate or migrate to escape the cold winters. For example, monarch butterflies migrate to warmer climates closer to the equator. The largest terrestrial biome on Earth is the taiga, or northern coniferous forest, where conifers grow. Conifers are cone-bearing trees that do not lose their leaves. This biome can be found in Alaska and northern Scandinavia. Tiger summers are warm with an average temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, and winters are long and cold with an average temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius. Rainfall is generally moderate with 30 to 70 centimeters of rain each year. Cone-bearing trees such as pines and spruces are the primary vegetation, and plant biodiversity is somewhat low. Large animals such as moose, elk, and brown bears inhabit the taiga. Overharvesting of trees has endangered many old growth forests of this biome because conifers can take as much as 70 years to grow from a seedling into a mature tree. The last biome we're gonna look at today is the tundra. The tundra biome can be found in the northernmost and southernmost parts of the world, and it covers expansive areas of the Arctic between the taiga and polar ice. Parts of Antarctica in the south also qualify as tundra, but this biome is mostly considered a desert due to its lack of rainfall. Tundra is also found on mountaintops, such as the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. This biome is characterized by cold winters with average temperatures falling below minus 30 degrees Celsius and cold summers with average temperatures of 10 degrees Celsius. There's very little precipitation, only 20 to 60 centimeters of rain a year, and much of what falls freezes on the ground. Grasses such as polar grass and some herbaceous plants such as sedges can grow, but a permanently frozen layer of soil called permafrost prevents deep roots. Large grazing animals such as moose and elk are common, and many migratory animals use the tundra as a summer breeding ground.